Now, on to today's topic of food shopping. People with disabilities should have a chance to experience as much of the world as possible. Unfortunately, sometimes their experience with food is limited to taking groceries out of the staff's car or sitting down to a dinner they had no part in making. So let's take a moment and look at some apps that might change all that. I had a wonderful professor in grad school who demonstrated a low-tech approach to this challenge. Out in the community, supporting people with cognitive disabilities, she would wear a flannel apron with pictures of food attached to it. She became a human shopping list. The people she served would take an item off the list and find the matching item on a shelf, then return with the item and put it in the shopping basket. We could use that inspiration when looking at the following apps. I'm not asking any of you to have a flannel apron. So let's look at My Food Basket. It's a free app developed by the great folks at our sister ARC chapter, Schenectady ARC. It provides an easy to use basic shopping list that is picture driven. You just start a new shopping list, go to a category, then a subcategory and add the item to your list. As you see, it's all picture based. This could be a great way not only to make a shopping list, but also just to find out about a person's food interests and knowledge of healthy eating. Should we just look at desserts today? Well, we might need a little bit more than that in our life. How about fruits? Nah, I want desserts. Well, how about fruits? So it's a great way to explore the food world. You can add particular things that a person enjoys and change some of the subcategory menus. And it's free. One thing about uh, that app, make sure you search in the App Store under Schenectady Arc. The search engine on the App Store sometimes isn't the best search engine. But if you go Schenectady Arc, you can see Food Basket and many of the other apps that they've developed. Now, let's turn our view to Microsoft and seeing AI. It was initially developed for folks with visual impairments, and we found out that it can help the needs of many people, not just those with vision issues. It can do many things. It can identify colors, handwriting transcription, person description. It can tell you what that person looks like give you an idea of who you're talking to, scenery description, the ambient light levels, can serve as a document scanner and reader, a short text reader, and a product scanner. Some individuals with cognitive limitations have literacy issues. So this app can open an individual up to a world where he or she will feel more self-confident. You know those little barcodes behind products at the store? Well, Seeing AI scans them and tells the user exactly what the product is. Scenes and people can be described. So if I pointed a iPhone or an iPad with Seeing AI on it, it would look at, say, like my keyboard, and it would say in audio, keyboard, computer, desk, and it would go through all sort of like identifying tags. In a case of someone that on a certain people on the spectrum have facial recognition issues, it could tell you that this person coming at you is somebody that is middle-aged, important, business person, and all of a sudden, you know, from the description that you're getting, hair color and all that, you realize that's your boss coming towards you. Interesting stuff. The great thing about it, too, is tons of tutorials attached to each of the functions of the app. And it's amazing all the new products that Microsoft has come up with during the recent years. And they're all free and all available out there on the App Store. Fantastic stuff. Now, let's take a look at an app called Grocery Shopping List. This helps individuals with cognitive limitations that despite their literacy challenge, they can create their own shopping list. Next to each item, for which they choose is a picture of that item. Similar to the food basket, a little more sophisticated. So all a person needs to do is choose 
what she likes and add it to the list. While initially it's free, like many apps, it could contain ads and you can eliminate those ads by upgrading for a modest fee. The app has a four point star rating on the App Store, which is a pretty high rating. Uh, regarding the advertising, that can be extremely distracting for some individuals. So if they have the funds, you have the funds, it's a good idea to eliminate the advertising. There's always a cost, no matter how much they say, to free apps. If you can afford it, I'd suggest it. So grocery shopping list, a great app. And I'm adding also the name of the developers on these slides. Because sometimes, again, when you go through the App Store, it helps to limit the amount of uh, search information that you get back so you can get the specific app that you're looking for. Okay, so here's an app called Recipe Keeper. It not only helps you make a shopping list, but allows you to go to the next step. Use those groceries in a recipe. It's free for up to 20 recipes that you can store. Then it's only $5.99 to upgrade to the unlimited version. The app is very simple. It allows you to plan your meals for the week, make a shopping list, record your own recipes, or import online recipes and print out your info. You can take a picture of your creation and use it as a symbol for that recipe. That way, if you want to make that fantastic pizza again, you just look for the picture of the pizza. When you tap on it, every step, every ingredient, and every note that you need to know appears on the screen. Fantastic, right? Great, wonderful. But let's just say that you don't have your iPhone or iPad with you. What do I do? Well, using a desktop computer, a Mac or a PC, you can go to their website and see the recipe there. All the information you entered stays in the cloud. A wonderful little app with a 4.6 star rating. Let's talk about any list, grocery shopping list by Purple Cover. This app could not only help people with grocery shopping and recipes, also with many other tasks. A great feature is the sharing of lists, which makes it really useful for other items. Just think of job coaching. A worker could have a list of tasks, and once each task is completed, that worker can share the news, the good news, that I finished this task with his coach via email. Or someone who lives more independently in their apartment and has limited supports. You want to make sure that all is well with them and they can check in with you and make sure that they're ready for the day. They've had their breakfast, they've taken their meds, and on and on, wearing appropriate clothing. The sharing aspect of this is really powerful. Getting back to food, you can record your own recipes, but you can also search for them on the net by how complicated the recipes are, how much prep time it takes, how much does the overall meal take. The basic app is free, but you can upgrade, which will provide you with the ability to add pictures to the list, and that's $9.99 for one year. Not a huge amount of money. You can also get a family subscription for $14.99 a year. It gets a 4.9 rating on the App Store.